Nine districts have this year voted in favour of Māori wards, including Gisborne District Council. The decision was welcomed by Tangata Whenua, however, Gisborne Mayor Rahit Stoltz says the decision will now go to a referendum. Now that we have voted to establish Māori wards in time for the 2022 and 2025 elections, we will have to do a representation review. Um, and that will tell us how our wards will look, how many councillors would be in the general ward, how many councillors would be in the Māori wards. But before that can happen, our CEO had to give notice to the public that we as a council decided to introduce Māori wards and that they have the opportunity, if they do not agree, to um, deliver a poll to her or a and, and, and ask for a referendum. If 5% of registered voters sign a petition demanding Gisborne Council hold a referendum on the Māori wards, the Council must allow that to happen. Previously, referendums have almost always stopped Māori wards because majorities tend to vote against improvements for minorities. Referendums can also be demanded for changes to voting methods, but not if the Council chooses to change general wards. The legislation allows for a poll to be held for referendum when a Māori ward is established. However, if you were to establish a general ward or a rural ward, there is no ability for that decision to be overturned um, from the council. Only Māori wards are able to have that provision. And this is where we um, believe wholeheartedly that this is a this discriminates against Māori being able to have a voice at the table. Gisborne District Councillor Meredith Akuhata-Brown supports a law change to end the handbrake on Māori wards. It's the only part of, in this legislative space that a poll of 5% of your population, voting population, can push back and say they don't want Māori wards. So you can't poll the rural wards, you can't poll the urban city seat wards. This is about better democracy for everyone. Earlier this, this month, a 10,000 signature petition was presented to Parliament calling for change to the law that allows these referendums. Part of lodging that petition and having it received by MP means it was read out in the House and it now starts to go through the process. It's also a signal to the Minister to say, yes, we support your decision to change the legislation. But we also want to ensure that that legislation is changed as soon as possible. Anyone opposing the Māori Ward's decision has until 22nd of February to gather just 1,626 signatures to then force a referendum. Delilah Whaiteri, Local Focus.